Bhatia joins us to give us uh, the details on how business is likely to be, what the spreads in BOPP and BOPET are. And at the same time, they have a fair amount of uh, CAPEX coming on stream. So what that would mean for their overall business as well. The stock, remember, has rallied almost 50% in 2021. Now, thanks a lot, Mr. Bhatia, for joining in. Uh, you know, uh, the first words on the BOPP and BOPET spreads, because the last time you joined us, you did say that they had moderated a tad bit, but there was some bit of strength that you saw around the festive season. Has that sustained? Uh, where are those spreads now? Uh, so, uh, I think in terms of the pricing, uh, as compared to Q2, uh, mm -hmm. the current quarter is better for the industry. Uh, I see at least about 20% uh, selling price uh, better over the Q2. Uh, there is a there is a cost pressure continues, uh, but you know overall still I would say across the industry the margins should be uh, you know when you say margin at a, mm -hmm. at a gross level should be about 30 to 40 percent up in the BOPEC, mm -hmm. and uh, similarly in the BOPP they should be about 20 to 25 percent up depending on the you know uh, how much uh, you know value added products you do so yeah. uh, you know as compared to the last quarter. Across the industry, the margins continue to be better. Uh, yeah. So that's that's what. Okay. All right, Mr. Bhatia. Good to speak to you after a while. Uh, you know, give us a couple of numbers then. From year on, what should margins look like in the first half of the year? The average, uh, a little lower than that 20% that you had guided for earlier. So do you see margins getting back to the 20% mark? And also volumes we were talking about earlier was in the vicinity of around 20 to around 25%. Possible? So volumes are pretty much possible as we continue to ramp up. Uh, happy to share that, you know, uh, we across all our plants except Nigeria, uh, the new facilities we are operating at plus 90 percent capacity utilization levels currently. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as we go along, there'll be more uh, there'll be more capacity added, you know, when you uh, when you are out of your warranty period and you can increase the throughputs. Uh, for your machine, so they'll they'll add to the extra volumes. But currently, as I said, that you know, uh, given the given the demand, uh, uh, robust demand, we continue to operate at uh, very very substantially high utilization levels. Nigeria is also, uh, you know, catching up. Uh, we we still operating there at about 60 65 percent capacity, but you know, the endeavor is to take that also to about 90 95 percent. There's some challenges uh, for the, uh, you know, at the at the logistics, but hopefully, you know, they they're just uh, uh, away uh, for for one more quarter, and then you'll see that plant also because the demand currently uh, continues to be very strong. Yeah. So, wh what does that mean from margins, uh, Mr. Bhatia? You uh, didn't leave us with a number. I think the margins, <laughs> as I've always guided. You know, we we happy with 16 to 20 range. Wow, that's uh, a very wide that's range. A very wide let's, let's narrow it a little bit. Closer to 16 or closer to around uh, 20 percent? I think closer to about uh, then we can say about 17 to 18 percent is is. <laughs> you gave us a wide you gave us a wide range and then we asked you to narrow it. You made it 17 to 18 yeah. percent. 17 to 18 percent is that possible? Is is, is, is that is the is the margins that. Uh, you know, looks more sustainable at this yeah. point in time. You know, otherwise, Mr. Bhatia, you were, you, know, <laughs> you went from the off, off wicket all the way in offside to the leg side. So, at least that 17-18% is closer to the three sticks that are there <laughs> on the pitch. So, we'll, we'll hold you at that number. You briefly mentioned about Nigeria. Um, what is the optim at optimum levels? What kind of revenue can you generate from there? And also give us a quick update on your debt in your books. I think we can do from that plant about 120 million dollars stock line at the at the 90 percent utilization of the capacity. Uh, on the debt numbers, we are uh, currently gross debt, including our working capital borrowings, that is at about 4,000 uh, crores. So that's about 10 percent uh, addition to your current revenue. Uh, does that happen this year itself? FY23? Uh, that will happen in FY23. Three for sure. Okay. Uh, I have no doubts about that. And, and what about said, uh, Hungary and uh, Netherlands? Hungary, Netherlands, uh, uh, no, we don't have anything in Netherlands. It's Poland actually. Mm -hmm. So as I said that, you know, Hungary is operating at 100%, 90% plus. 
and so is the Poland's expanded capacity uh, for the BOPED. And similarly, BOPP at uh, Egypt is also operating at a higher utilization levels. Okay. So every on a demand side, you know, there, there are no challenges currently. Okay. Uh, but the pricing and the raw material continues to be a bit of a challenge. Okay. And raw material is becoming a challenge because, you know, the higher freights uh, across the globe are, mm. uh, are uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, not allowing you to, uh, to, to do the, uh, you know, the optimum buying because, you know, the freight rates are, uh, freight rates are higher. Right. So you have to stick more to the local availability and they are also looking at a higher price for themselves, looking at, uh, you know, the, the import parity. Okay, uh, you, had, you had a CAPEX plan of around 1,000 crores earlier, you know, uh, for this year. Very quickly, sir, and you said your debt is at around 4,000 crores, approximately. No reduction plans. If there are reduction plans, could you tell us how much will it come down by? Quickly, sir. So the reductions are not, uh, you know, that we want to prepay. Uh, the reductions are that, you know, we want to, uh, whatever is the normal amortization, that, that's what will happen. So about, uh, you can say about 300 to 400 crore is what uh, gets repaid every year. Mm -hmm. uh, on, a, on an overall debt to EBITDA, I think we, we will still be under two, uh, which, is, which is still healthy for our industry. And uh, I would say that, you know, all our expansion projects, given... You know, you yes. you would never expect a hundred percent capacity utilization levels in the first year, which we achieved, and that happened because of the specifics uh, post pandemic. The demand was was pretty high, so right. I think yeah. we have to yeah. look forward to uh, a sustainable growth and no plan to any prepay any debts. As of Take that point, Mr. Bhatia. Thank you.